Did you know that there's actually a haunted Ronald McDonald bench in Mexico? This is actually one of the most bizarre stories that I've ever heard. The story goes that two young men had just left the nightclub and were very hungry and went looking for a late night snack. They both settled on having McDonald's, and once they had gotten their food, they both took a seat on the Ronald McDonald bench outside of the restaurant. It was a strange bench because it had a statue of Ronald McDonald sitting in the middle with his arms spread out. His face almost had this crazed expression. And one of the men eventually laid down on Ronald Ronald's lap and said, I'm tired. Just then, Ronald McDonald's head turned and looked down at him and said, I'm tired too. The legend says they were so shocked by hearing this that one of them died instantly and the other is still in a coma to this day. Apparently, the security cameras outside the restaurant recorded everything. So it is rumored that McDonald's paid a huge amount of money to cover it up. Because they didn't want the public to find out they had an actual really dangerous haunted McDonald's statue. These are what your dreams say about you and your life. If you ever dream that you're falling, it means that something in your life isn't going well. It suggests that you may need to rethink a choice in your life or consider a new direction in some area of your life. If you ever have a dream that you're being chased by something or someone, it suggests that you're trying to avoid something daily in your life. It also suggests that you're trying to forget something that makes you feel angry, sad, or any other type of emotion. If you've ever had a dream about losing your teeth, it indicates you're concerned about your ability to communicate or doing something embarrassing in public. This was one of the creepiest Barbie dolls that was ever sold in stores. This was called the Barbie Video Girl doll that came out in 2010. She came with a real working camera disguised as her necklace and a video was projected onto her back. The issue here is that it could record up to 30 minutes of video and even the FBI became worried about what this children's toy could be used for. People were concerned that this video Barbie was always watching. Then there was another doll called Hello Barbie and she on the other hand was always listening and was happy to record your conversations and send that data via Wi-Fi to Mattel. So these two Barbies really freaked out parents because it really seemed like an invasion of their privacy. Crazy part is, most people believe that these three things will actually save your life. They don't. Let's pretend you get stuck in a blizzard on a mountain and you need to stay warm. So how are you going to do that? You remember hearing somewhere that alcohol is supposed to keep you warm. So you whip out your flask, you take a swig, and sure enough, you feel warm already. You feel flush in the face. But it's an illusion because what happens is alcohol, it increases blood flow to the skin and away from your core. So it plummets your core temperature, increasing the odds that you'll get hypothermia and die. So you stop drinking booze and you head off for a cave you see in the distance. Once you get inside the cave, you remember that you know how to make a fire. And so you do. Except the problem with fires inside of caves is it, it starts to expand the rock above you, causing it to crack and eventually caving in on you. So you narrowly escape the cave in only to hear something in the background. A grizzly bear was in the cave with you and now it's charging out to avoid the cave in. But you remember humans can outrun bears and you start taking off the condemned bear and it just catches you. This was a banned episode of Peppa Pig. This episode was called Mr. Skinny Legs and it came out in 2004. And depending on where you live, it was taken off the air immediately. This episode was supposed to teach its young viewers that while spiders may look scary, they can't really hurt you. At the beginning, Peppa is afraid of the spider, but by the end of the episode, she befriends the spider and invites him as a guest to her tea party. Now, I think the moral of this story is pretty great, but apparently people in Australia did not agree. Australia is home to some of the most venomous spiders in the world, like the redback spider, whose bites are intensely painful and have historically been linked with deaths. So this episode was unfortunately banned in Australia because they did not want kids trying to befriend spiders. People used to cover their mirrors after someone died. Back in the Victorian era, after someone died, they would immediately go to their house and cover their mirrors with black cloths. This is because they believed that if they walked past the mirror and saw their deceased loved one looking back at them, it meant they would die next. They also thought the spirit would be forever trapped inside the mirror and would never be able to find peace. There were also just a lot of superstitions around mirrors back in that time. People thought that spirits could come through them. People thought mirrors brought bad luck. People thought that if you looked at yourself in the mirror, you would find the secret truth about yourself. But yeah, there are a lot of very creepy vintage photos of people covering their mirrors with black blankets or cloths. 
Here are the most bizarre things that have ever happened at Disney World. There was a time where a couple tried to smuggle a baby onto Space Mountain. A couple was in line to ride Space Mountain when their duffel bag started to make noise and the couple refused to open it. So the cast member called security and when they opened the bag, they saw a six month baby inside of it. The baby was okay, but my goodness. People try to spread their loved one's ashes in the haunted mansion. This actually happens way too often and cast members have to try and stop it as much as they can. It causes the ride to shut down temporarily for an emergency ash cleanup. A husband made a very bizarre announcement at Cinderella's castle. The family of four came in for dinner and about halfway through the husband politely stands up and he announced that his wife of 15 years had been cheating on him. Wow. In 2007, Tigger punched a teenager in the face. Apparently the boy was messing with Tigger's costume and Tigger wanted him to stop and he didn't and then punched him in the face. Here are some more very scary things that happened at Disney World. There was this man who came to the park and he was called the Balloon Cutter. He was a man with a pair of scissors that would go up behind little girls holding Mickey Mouse balloons and he would cut the string, releasing their balloons into the air. And before he was caught, he ran off into the crowd. How horrible. There was this one time where Dumbo was in a parade. It was a really hot day and he felt extremely sick in his costume. So he threw up in his mask head and it came out all over him. Next, we have an employee that came face to face with a panther. Apparently this employee was working a shift at 3 a.m. He came face to face with this panther. He backed away and luckily locked himself in a building. And lastly, the saddest one is the death of Pluto. A 38 year old cast member was killed at Magic Kingdom in 2004 during the Share a Dream Come True parade. The employee who was dressed as Pluto was run over by the Beauty and the Beast parade float. It was extremely tragic and now Disney is actually more strict about how the parade goes and their staff safety. Crazy part is most people believe that these three things will actually save your life. They don't. Let's pretend you're lost in the desert and you need water and you don't have any. So where are some places you can get water? One commonly held terrible piece of advice is to drink your own pee because it's mostly made up of water, except there's 5% of that that's all made up of just waste from your body. And even though the urine might keep you alive a little bit longer, you'll ultimately die of kidney failure. So you don't drink your own pee. Instead, you head over to some cactus you see nearby because you remember reading or hearing in school that you can drink the water inside of cactus. Except unless it's one really specific kind of cactus, you'll be drinking lots of alkaloids and chemicals that will make you vicious ill and you'll start vomiting and you'll have diarrhea and you'll die from dehydration much faster. So as you're sitting there wondering what you're going to do next, a venomous snake bites you. And so you instinctively start sucking on the bite to remove the poison, but you can't because it goes right in your bloodstream and all you'll do is die much faster from infection. This is why you should always breathe through your nose. In 2009, a Russian man named Artyom Sidorkin started experiencing intense chest pains to the point where he couldn't even stand up. He tried to ignore it, but when he started coughing up blood, he went to the emergency room. They gave him an x-ray and it revealed a fist-sized tumor growing in his lung. Afterwards, the doctor told Mr. Sidorkin, unfortunately, it looks like cancer. But before they could start removing large chunks of his lung, the doctor needed to do a biopsy to see if it really was cancer. So a terrified Mr. Sidorkin came in a few days later, they performed the biopsy, and the surgeon, as he was looking at the tissue, noticed something. 